Hi everyone and welcome to another quick tutorial with me, Michael Turney. Today we're going to have a look at the quickest and easiest way how to use Motion Blur in Cinema 4D. First, go up here, click and hold, and select a sphere. Then we'll click the keyframe here, move over 10 keyframes, and pull it this way. Click the keyframe again, then we'll select 20, then move it back over here, and click the keyframe. And we'll change this here to 20 as well. So if we click play, the ball's moving like this, and we can render this by going to our render settings, unticking this and going all frames. If we press this to render, we can see that the ball just moves. If we want to add motion blur to this, all we need to do is right click our sphere. All we need to do is right click our sphere, go to Cinema 4D tags and motion blur. Then we'll go to our render settings again, effect, vector motion blur. And there we are. If we render it again, we'll be able to see it has a motion blur. So if we look at the original render on frame 5, and then the second render on frame 5, it has a motion blur. If you want to up the samples, so it goes smoother, we just go to our render settings again, and change the sample rate to, say, 1000. But this all depends on the render time. The higher the number, the longer it's going to take to render. And we'll hit render again. And there we are, the quickest and easiest way how to add motion blur to your scene in Cinema 4D. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and feel free to follow me on Instagram at tierney.tv. Thanks for watching.